In Ezra 5, the, the work of the Lord or the rebuilding of the temple had, well, it had stopped. And the work of the Lord goes on and on. It doesn't stop. So God sends a prophet, Haggai and Zechariah. They prophesy to the Jews who were in Judea and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel who was over them. They prophesied to them. They brought God's word to them and encouraged them to begin again rebuilding the temple. See, here's the deal. The people of Israel had sinned and God had taken them into Babylonian exile. And finally, one day, he sent them back. He allowed them to come back to their homeland. He allowed them to come back to their place of origin, to a place where they could once again be restored to the Lord, rebuild the place of worship. But then it ceased. And then God gave them another word from these prophets that I just mentioned. And the, and the work, well, it began again. And there's a lot in this passage that I don't have time to read, but I want to say this, that God is a God of second chance, third chance, fourth chance, fifth chance. And these are kind of like prodigals who come home. They've sinned, they've been judged, they've been released, and now God again speaks to them in a powerful way through prophets, and he allows them to be involved in the work of the Lord. So in Ezra chapter 5, if there's a story, if there's a principle, it would be this, that God will complete his work and he will also send those to speak his word to us. And when he speaks his word to us, he allows us to get involved in his work. And so they began to rebuild the temple. God welcomes back the prodigal. He uses the one over again who's fallen. If they're willing to hear the word of the Lord, and to respond. And this is what's happening in Ezra. These are people who had been exiled. These are people who were discouraged. These were people who felt defeated. God sends his word. They get encouraged, they get strengthened, and they go back to work. And maybe you're like that. Maybe you're someone who sinned or you've got something going on in your life and you feel like God can't use me, God, God's through with me, and God will send a word to you through his scripture or through a pastor or through a friend or however he chooses to do it and he wants to rebuild. See prophecy we know in scripture says it's used to build up and to uplift and God many times will speak to us through his word and call us back into his work and my prayer my hope would be that he would do that again and again in all of our lives. Send his word call us back into his work and allow us to be a part of his big plan. That's what's happening in Ezra chapter 5, and I think that's what's happening in our lives over and over again.